Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Today on Kane's Tale, we're going to be journeying through the rest of the Devil's Road into Baron to meet up with Cecil. Now the journey is pretty straightforward through the Devil's Road. First thing we want to do is come up here though. It's not exactly the right way, but if we go up, we will find Kane's Tale Adamantite. It's very easy to miss, so be careful. Uh, the rest of the way is pretty straightforward. I think you can just take whatever teleporters you want from here on out. And run into the same enemies. Uh, we gotta go up here. Yeah, any lit up te teleporters, rather. Because I don't think the pattern's too... different from uh, when we came through here with Seador and the Hooded Man. I could be wrong about that, though. So don't quote me on it. It just seems like any way we take ends up in the right position. From personal experience, I should say. I was actually kind of hoping it was going to throw me down and make me redo this. <laughs> just to prove me wrong. Be like, no, Kronos, you got to go back and actually redo this whole thing. Because you are a piece of crap for telling people this. We're in Baron now. Let's go up to uh, Sid's place. I don't think we can get another lustful lolly ho, but it would be nice to talk to his family. Kane, you've come back to Baron at last. My father wondered what happened to you after you disappeared from our lands. And now look at us. This time it's my father who's gone missing. Sid's daughter, you have a very deep voice. Yeah, so Sid is missing from the monster invasion on Baron. Let's go over to, uh... Rosa's grandmother's house and see what's up with Rosa. Kane, you've come back at last. Cecil and Rosa were worried about you, you know. Okay, you don't actually say anything about Rosa. Yeah, Rosa's missing too. Go figure, right? The Red Wings are conducting flights over town all morning, night, noon, and night. Some kind of training, perhaps. Mm, maybe. But I think our training calls for us to loot Baron once again. Because that's kind of what we do in Baron whenever we come here. We're like, hey, you guys refill your treasure chest? And they're like, yes, we did. Well, clearly I'm just going to take all that stuff again. And they're like, yeah, we figured. You're kind of an asshole. I'm like, yeah, I know. You can talk to people. They will comment saying that they haven't seen uh, Cecil or Rosa in town for a while now. Oh, are you Kane the Dragoon? Thank goodness you've returned. Yeah, sure. One of you does say that. Maybe? Oh, here. King Cecil and Queen Rosa take regular strolls through town. Haven't seen them lately, though. That's another clue that things are not going well. Yeah, the town is talking about Seardor taking his test for knighthood. I always kind of want to see, like, alternate stories of, uh, like, what ifs. <laughs> what if shit didn't hit the fan? Well, they finally learned to lock their door, that's what. Yeah, so you can't actually go back and try to get those treasure chests. I kind of like it that they did it this way, because you don't waste your time and go all the way back there just to have them kick you out. Uh, items, I think, are the same as Mesidia's. We'll just go over them quickly. Yeah, they're not useful at all. Well, okay, they're probably useful somewhere, just not right here. Yeah, was it like, what ifs, like, what if Golbez wasn't mind-controlled and Cecil was? I, that would be freaking an awesome story, IMO. Go through Final Fantasy IV as Golbez? That would be kind of cool. I'm, I'm really a big fanboy, I know, I know. But that would be awesome. You know, one more place to look for for treasure, and it's the same place as before. Uh, we go back behind Baron, and we'll check the grassy knolls before heading to Baron Castle. You can talk to all the NPCs here. They say generally, like, similar stuff. Whoa, that armor looks like some kind of legendary dragoon outfit. Where'd you buy that gear? I made it myself. I'm Batman. Wait a minute. Okay, Jesus Christ. I'm like, wait a minute, no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure you can get behind here and get the items. That was just weird. I must have accidentally pushed up or something. Yeah, so there's nothing really big, so even if you don't get these items, it's 
not the biggest loss in the world, but, you know, they're worth having. You do have all of Theodore's stuff from before, so... I mean, you, you really... Alright, let's head to the castle. No one may pass. Orders from the king. Let him in. Orders from the king. Uh, what? No baron soldier this time around? That's sad, game. It's like you actually got it right. Move faster, Kane, please. I'm on a time limit. I mean, it's a self-opposed time limit, but it's still a time limit, damn it. Yeah, more treasure. A red fang. Neat. X potion and a remedy. Alright, now let's head over to the east side of the castle and get some more loot. It's broken, it won't budge. Your order is my leash, I'm not your leash. There's also a save point here. If you're having a, I don't know, you need to go somewhere and you need the save. Hi, uh, potion. Uh, Phoenix down, bronze hourglass. Oh, army sandals, those are actually really good. Now is the treasure still hidden up here? It is, Remedy! Yeah, it won't let us go see where uh, the Baron Spirit, or Baron King Spirit, or King Baron Spirit. Yeah, let's just go with King Baron Spirit would normally be, even though he wouldn't talk to us, even if we did go down there as like Cecil. Some more treasures, I believe, up here. Yep. Cottage. X potion. Ooh. <laughs> With the castle once again looted, let's go up and see what Cecil's up to. Is there anything different? No, you don't. You think, you know, evil genius or evil villainesses or whatever would eventually realize that you should probably make your drone say something unique and not just mindless. Cecil's in here. I know. Oh, do you now, Kane? Let me ask you again. What do you plan to do when you see Cecil? Nothing has changed. Cecil will die by my hands. Cecil will buy by my hands? No, die. You sound like you were going to say bye. Shut up. Kane, you're starting to sound a lot more like Batman in these recent episodes. Retro! Okay, Kane, calm down. Where is he? First, I wish to test your resolve. I told you already, I intend to kill him. But can you? Oh, burn! Give me your crystal. I will, once my business is done, as agreed upon. The crystal's that important to you. You can crush the thing to pieces for all I care. All that matters to me is putting an end to Cecil's life. Why do you hate him so much? That's none of your concern. Then you won't mind getting two more crystals for me. You know, the mysterious girl looks high as hell all the time. Look at her! She's like, oh man. I'm totally baked right now. I think this guy's wearing, like, dragon guts on the outside of his armor. What? Do that, and I'll arrange an audience with Cecil for you. She's also really small. Just notice that. Fine. I still need the wind and fire crystals. Then I head for Fabul and Damsian. I will lend you an airship and a company of soldiers. Fair enough. 
My time is precious. I need the last two crystals. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna explore. Because, you know, it's kind of boring in here. Should have, like, more evil stuff in here, lady. So let's head outside and see what sort of airship we have in store for us. Oh, actually, we are ready to for you outside, sir. I'm the only one that's not mind controlled around here. That's why I sound so normal. Sort of get stuck there. All right, so let's just head outside. I really like Baron's theme. Hello. Dot, dot, dot. Hi. Dot, dot, dot. Can I go in here? No, but I can clip through the door. Man, you guys are boring. Are you ready to depart, sir? Sure. Why aren't you mind controlled? Uh, I don't know. I was on vacation. I came back. And uh, everyone stopped talking. And some of them are, in fact, monsters now. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, so I'm just going to go with the flow. Again. The airships don't take off this slowly, goddammit. <laughs> Meanwhile, that's a weird pan. Why pan up like that? I heard that the path ahead had been blocked since the mountain caved in. You heard that over in Baron? Yes, but. Perfect. We'll proceed due east from the village. Wait a minute. Even after all these hours, the gel in my hair is still hard as a rock. Okay, so we get uh, Theodore and the Hooded Man back in the group. Uh, yeah, we should actually, you know what? Uh, that's not that much better. Yeah, we'll give him that. We're pretty much gonna deck him out in... Mm, yeah. We'll keep the power omelets on. That should be good. Alright. Let's go up here. We don't get travelers here very often. As a matter of fact, you're the first one I've seen. You need to leave this village every once in a while. God damn it. This also might take me a while, because I tend to get lost in this goddamn place so many times. So just wait till the character starts kind of like funkily moving around. Oh my god. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, please let me get this. I hate... Oh, oh. Yeah, I fucking hate this place in 3D. So much. Alright, let's go down. I wish I had a warp spell. <laughs> Just warp out of here. We get the Blood Sword, which is actually fairly good, but... Also a pretty big hindrance to us. So if we look at it, it lowers our stats a lot. A lot, a lot. We lose two multipliers, pretty much. And our accuracy is utter shit. But it absorbs HP from monsters that you hit. It can be good if you are fairly strong, but we're not. We're fairly weak. So we're probably going to stick away from... I'm probably just going to meet you outside of this place because <laughs> it might take me like a minute or two. Now, there are some bomb cores around here. So again, like there always is a mist. Probably going to skip them. Oh, eh, you know, I'll go get them. Here lies the motherly summoner who protected our village, but wasn't important enough to get a name. Thank you. I wouldn't be standing here today if it weren't for you. Huh? Stop saying huh, Seedor. Stop saying huh. 
Oh, that's a bomb crank, not a bomb core. Excuse me. This village, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we know you guys all talk about the same exact things. An Arctic wind, that's actually a new one. And heavenly wrath, why do I... Okay, most of the other times when you come to miss, it's bomb cores and bomb cranks, but today I guess they're having a sale on other elements. So yeah, we get some better equipment, but not much better. You say anything else? Oh, man. The collapse of the Eastern Mountain may have been a blessing in disguise. At least we don't have any more meddling outsiders wandering into town. <laughs> yeah. Man, you, uh... You kind of messed up, old man. You can get a bow if you want, and it's not a bad idea, because we will be facing water enemies in the near future. I'll probably buy one of... Uh, maybe not. Do I want to buy... Yeah, you know what? I'll, no, I get a coral sword, but I don't have anything, man. I'll just buy this. I have the money! And I'm kind of just mumbling to myself here. See, the way I record LPs, blind or otherwise, and how I play games are generally the same. I just try to mumble less. Doesn't always work. But that's going to be it for this episode, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below if you're not subscribed yet. Why don't you head over to my video section, check out some of my other content, and see if it's your liking. Next time, we're going to be heading into the collapsed mountain east of Mist to escape barren soldiers. Have a great day, folks.